Hey up, how's life? It's been quite busy recently with all the midterms closing in. Um, I have one presentation, one 3000 word academic essay, and one short film script due next week. So I decided to cook myself something good as a way to relax. Life usually gets quite dull during periods like this. The more deadlines you get, the more you feel like a robot. Overwhelmed in the pursuit of goals rather than enjoying the process of learning and studying itself. When I was in high school or on a graduate, I spent no efforts to finish every deadline. Such mindset helped me to achieve academic excellence, leading to considerable scholarships and chances to take part in different excursions to see different people and different culture around the world. But as I was about to graduate, I realized that GPA isn't everything. I've seen people with much lower GPA starting their own companies and doing all well with helping out the community, while people with higher GPAs are at a loss about their next steps. I'm not suggesting you to ignore your grades and quit the university unless you know exactly what to do and how to do it, like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg. All I'm saying is that if you were to choose between an A and a B plus, you should probably think twice. The power of onions. Being an A student means that you have to work on several books and academic journals to refine your essay. It also means turning down an invitation from your friends, asking you out to dinner, and giving up your Easter holiday to travel around to stay in the hall to study. What a B plus student probably means that you work hard on some of the projects you are passionate about and save some time to explore the city and the world, caring less about other assignments. And the philosophy behind this is that this forces you to think about what exactly you are passionate about and what you want to do with your life, even before your graduation. For example, if you want to be a screenwriter in the future and you happen to have a literature course whose final project is to write a novel, you might want to do it to the fullest. On the other hand, for other courses like academic and professional writing, you might want to pay less attention to it and spend more time traveling around rather than just staying indoors and studying. Because staying on campus all day is not going to help you to be a screenwriter, but traveling around and learning new things and cooking can. For people who want to create, no matter it's a novel, a film, or a painting, the nuances we spot in our life are far more impressive than the skills we possess. So go ahead and cook something good for you. To sharpen your senses, to see, to feel, and to taste the world around us.